with Pablo today. Walt is going to be here. About They're here. About to put him in the boat. Him and Brett are coming. Matt will be here tomorrow. Got a heck of a good weekend coming. Me and Pablo just got to our spot. We're going to meet up with the boys after uh, after we uh, hunt this evening. And uh, yeah, hopefully somebody gets some deer on the ground. It'll be really yes, cool. Sir. I haven't really, this is only going to be my second sit in Alabama all season. Pablo's already knocked a good deer down in Tennessee. Yeah. So, everything else icing on the cake, right? Yeah, it's just, just about that time. It's rut time. It has to happen. November the 30th? Yes. Is it? Yes. So, we're Knocking getting close. On the door. Yep. Let's go ahead and let's get our stuff it. together. And let's do it. Better make it. <laughs> I want to have to carry you to the boat, dude. Never I think I could carry a big old butt, but I don't think I could. Oh my god! Carry a big old Hispanic. Let's get let's let's keep walking and see what happens. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't know why it hurts so much, man. But uh... dude, that ain't good, man. Do we need to get if we need to get back. That's I'm again gonna hurt my feeling. We gotta keep going, <laughs> bro. I don't want you to. I don't want to have to carry you further. Man, it won't <laughs> I don't know what happened when we took that step. For some reason, it just popped. And I was like, whoa. I feel it. It's on fire. It's high. No, dude. Let's make it. No. Let's go back. Seriously. I don't know where we're going in. We ain't no quitters. Is. Yeah, I'm just really trying to find a tree right in here somewhere. I think it'd be the best one. Here's the clear cut. There's a lot of tracks in here. I really haven't seen much buck sign yet. But not terribly con concerned with that, I don't think. But I do want to see this edge right here. And I wouldn't mind. I don't know if the camera shows it that well. There's a little slight draw right here that I'd like to be able to see. I like to be on this side of it. Because my wind right now is pushing kind of into the cut over, but I'm really hunting that edge and then another edge that's over there. So if I could just find a tree right here, that'd be, be probably where I want to be at. All right, I'm gonna be in this tree tonight. I've hunted this area a few times. I've hunted a few times further back that way on a different wind direction, but this time cut in the back side of it. And I'm kind of glad it did because there's a lot more deer sign over here, so. There's not a ton of bug sign yet, but there is a lot of tracks, a lot of deer are using this area, so this tree right here keeps me, my wind blowing kind of into the cut over, which is okay because. I'm really going to be hunting this area of the cut over over here. Um, I got this hard edge coming right up here. I've also got this little subtle draw coming out of this point right here. And I believe that the deer are going to be bedded over that way. But they could be bedded out here off the point of this cut over too. There's just all kinds of bedding being around a clear cut. So uh, as long as I'm, I feel like as long as I'm on one of these edges, with a terrain feature close by, I'm at least in the game. So let's get up this tree, get started. All right, this 219 just got set up on the edge of this clear cut right now. This is like, if you're a moon face guy, is saying right now is the best time to be in the woods. It's peak feeding right around two o'clock right now. It's November the 30th, so right over here at home should be kicking off any minute if it hadn't already. Anyways, we're set up. Pablo's right back here, back behind me, so maybe we'll see something good tonight. Somebody should. Walter and Brett are just right along, right down the way, down the water, not too far from here. Hopefully they're, uh, hopefully they're finding saw.
my goodness. I'm gonna put another one in. Oh my goodness. I've never shot a deer in this spot. Hell yeah, dude. That was insane. I have never shot a deer in this spot. I'm gonna have to get this deer out here. I'm gonna have to pack it out. I gotta tell my wife I'm not gonna be home for dinner. Y'all wanna come in here? I don't know that I'm gonna be able to get him out with Pablo because his freaking foot. Yeah, you want us to come now or can we finish the evening? No, finish the evening. Yeah, finish the evening. We'll, we'll, we'll get him out at dark. Sounds good. Drop me a pin where you are. All right, buddy, I will. And I'll send you, I'll send you our track. Perfect. All right, buddy. See ya. Tell, pa tell Pablo you gotta cut him up, pack him out too. Dude, I don't know what we're gonna do. Congratulations, dude. I'm sitting like grandpa right here in the boat, and I heard, oh. Dude. I was like, yes, sir. I grunted probably an hour and a half ago. Yeah. And I don't think I got it on film at all that I grunted, because my I left my 360 running, and it's on loop, so it just got it just deleted that footage of me grunting. But I definitely grunted. Man, I'm so happy. Well. I'm really sad, dude. I feel pathetic, but, Well, you know. um. You can't come back up. You can't come up here. There ain't no way. I think what no. I think what you did. I looked it up. It looks like you ruptured your plantar fascia, but you're not gonna be able to move on it. So you know, I was on my one like I was going down. I was just sliding on the hill because yeah. I just came out. Yeah, dude. I would. I was like, dude. Holy cow! I'm gonna get down and look at. It. I'll send you some pictures. Ah, uh, bro. Let's go look at the damage. Let's go see how much. Uh, ground shrinkage and stuff that we got. Where's he at? Oh shoot. There's a fresh scrape. Right there. Get that here. There you Short time little joker, isn't he? Holy cow. Oh, yeah. You out there, buddy? <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Me filming you, filming me, filming Brett. Filming Brett, filming us. Mine's <laughs> <laughs> Marco Polo. Oh, yours is Marco? Pretty guy. Oh my goodness, dude. Look at that. Parker got him one. I mean, imagine that deer next year. <laughs> it would be <laughs> freaking toad. What's up, dude? Congratulations, buddy. Dude, that's a big head on that guy. His head is so long, though. That's coming from a guy from Florida. That's what I'm getting at, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Um, we just had one of our Patreon members asking about uh, how we pack out deer. This is the way that I like to do it. And I've done a video on this before uh, with a doe, but never with a buck, so this would be a good idea. I've done it this way with a, a few bucks, actually. You take everything you already got. You got your platform already. I've got the Predator platform. Uh, use one stick so I can get it up a little bit higher with a doe. You could probably get away with head height. Uh, I'm short though, so I put this stick up there so I can get up a little bit higher. And then the probably the most important part is going to be this ropeman um, on my lineman's belt. This is my lineman's belt. This ropeman basically acts just like a pulley, and you can pull the deer up just like that. And one hand, it's, uh, you can do it one with one person, and you can take the deer and just kind of work him in up like that and pull this as you work him up. Uh, but we got three people here, so I'll probably get Brett to pull this while I kind of just muscle the deer up. And it uh, gets him off the ground so that I can skin him, get him taken care of without worrying about all the leaves and dirt and all that crap. Basically makes a, uh, a deer camp gamble right here in the woods, wherever you're at. So we're gonna get this thing packed out and uh, get back to the boat, cause it's getting late. All right, and well, then Brett's gonna pull on the, on the rope or on the tag end of the, of the lineman's belt. And I'm just gonna lift him up as he pulls. Ready? One, two, three. All right, that was easy. One, 
two. All right. He's off the ground. Bam, bam. There we go. All right, we got all the meat packed up, ready to go. Literally took what, 15 minutes, maybe? Maybe max. Took us about 15 minutes to get all that done. We're gonna strap this head into here. Oh boy, just like that, yeah, gonna take him There's ride nice ride. to his forever home. <laughs> Time to go back to Florida. We're done. <laughs> He's a tank of a Florida deer. <laughs> Shout out to Pablo for holding down the uh, boats while we. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, something popped in the, like in the bottom of my feet, and I, I now I just can't walk, can't put no food. I mean, no weight on it. So I just told Parker, "Go on, go on." You know, I didn't want to mess his own. <laughs> so I just kind of like sat in there, gave it a little bit, and it got worse and worse, and it's still worse. So I just literally just kind of like I crawl and slide my way back to the boat. Like literally, <laughs> and uh, and then I've been just here on watch, you know, waiting on y'all. <laughs>